Welcome to ExpertDoc Smart Flows. In this session, we're going to create our first data set, template, and flow. To create your first data set, click Create. Choose a type and choose the primary entity. The primary entity will decide where your flow will show up in your CRM. In our example, we're going to work with a quote. I'm going to click Create. And this brings me to the Dataset Builder. In the date build, Dataset Builder, I'm going to choose the fields and relations that I want to add to my dataset. By default, all the fields of an entity are selected. You can toggle them on or off with the first button. It's highly recommended to only choose the fields that you really gonna need. With the second button, you can toggle the advanced fields. Only use those at your own risk. Under our relations, we'll see our lookups. So we can select entities there and add those to our data set too. So I'll add the opportunity the owner and the potential customer. As you can see, entities that I add to my data set will show up on the left hand side. So I now also have access to the fields relations of that entity. So for an account, for instance, I can pick the primary contact. Under our one to many relations, we'll find are line items, items from subgrids. For a quote, I would be looking for the quote line details. So I'll add that to my data set too. From the one to many relations, only select the ones that you really need. From the quote line, I'm interested in the relation to the existing product in my catalog. I'll save the changes. And finally, for my first data set, I will also create a sample. A sample is a record that we can use for testing our data set, our template, and our flow. In that sample, I just select one record from my CRM to use. Click Create, and my sample will be created. Now I'm going to create my first template. Click Create, give it a name. Choose a data set. And choose the type. We'll choose standard here. This brings me to the template settings. I have two options now. Design my template by downloading the template to my hard disk. Or to create a flow. I will create the flow first. I'll give it a name. I'll choose my template and I can choose an output and delivery block. What do I want to do with the document once it's been generated? In this example, I will create a note that will hold the document as an attachment. I'll set the type to simple. This brings me to the Flow Builder. Flow Builder contains blocks in zones. I have five zones and each zone can contain one or more blocks. We'll start at the top. In this block, I'll set my start, uh, my starting point for my flow, in this case, Dynamics. The next step would be to retrieve the data for my document. So I select on the right hand side my data set and which data I want to retrieve. By default, this is the selected record. As you can see, if I hover over one of those items, the corresponding block will light up. The next step would be to generate my document. 
on the right hand side I can set all kinds of properties like the output, what will be shown to the user from this uh, step, in this case a link to the generated document. I can choose the data set that by default is also selected already. I can set the document name. And here I can pick up fields or data from my data set by clicking the little icon and the plus sign. I can choose data coming from other flow blocks. So for here, I could choose the quote and the fields, and I could pick up the quote ID to insert into the document name. I can add a date and timestamp to make the document name unique. And lastly, I can choose the document format amongst uh, them are PDF, DOCX, HTML, and text. Next, I'm gonna decide what to do with my document. In this example, we'll create a note and attach the document to that. For that step, I'll also set the output. So a link to the note will be shown to the user after the document has been generated. I'll attach the generated document, by default that's also been entered. I'll write it to the selected record in CRM and I'll give it a title. Also over here I can link that to my data set and use fields for instance to insert that quote ID again. And finally in my last zone, the flow output, I can see which output will be shown to the user after generating the document. In this case, a link to the document and a link to the note as it has been generated. I'll save my changes and now my flow will be ready to run. Next step would be to design my template in Microsoft Word.